we had nine guys in the band and uh, we had one van that could get all our gear and then we'd have to drive two cars everywhere we're going it was it's kind of sucking um, after playing you know a lot of uh, shows around the Midwest we're doing regional shes um, you know in uh, Des Moines Omaha Lincoln uh, you know um, Kansas City Chicago you know Peoria people started coming out and uh, you know paying attention uh, it's kind of a funny story we had this girl that was managing us uh, kind of managing us, you know, helping us out. She was working at our local radio station. And, uh, like, you know, she was asking, like, you know, who would uh, we want to, like, do the album or something like that, you know? And, and we mentioned Ross Robinson to her, and she, she called up one of her friends who actually just happened to be Ross Robinson's manager, which she had no idea was, is John Reese. And uh, she called up John Reese. She's like, you know how to get a hold of this Ross Robinson dude? And he's like, you know, it's funny you ask because I actually manage him. So, uh, you know, she sent out a, a CD and uh, Ross came out and uh, we had actually a few other label guys, I won't mention, come out too. But, uh, you know, we always like had a, felt a great, great vibe with Ross. So we, uh, you know, we went with Ross, man, like uh, in Roadrunner, you know, Ross was doing his, uh, he had like an imprint through Roadrunner. So, um, you know, which was awesome because we, we actually, it was kind of funny, I have a little funny story too. Uh, we were going to sign a deal with uh, Sony and we went and played one last show in, in Las Vegas, like as an unsigned band, and we're gonna go back to Des Moines and sign the contract. We're like, well, we shouldn't sign it now. We should wait until we got home, you know, and we'll do one last show as an unsigned band. So we went to Vegas, and there was somebody higher up who, who than the guy who gave us the contract, and he's like, man, if that's what music's going towards, like, I don't want them. And so they pulled the contract before we could get back and sign it. And, uh, yeah, on Monday we got back and it was gone. They're like, oh, no, you can't, you can't sign it. Uh, so we ended up uh, getting some other offers, but um, we went with uh, Roadrunner and, uh, and Ross Robinson and went and did the first album. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about my gear a little bit. Um, this is my actual production model base. Um, you can buy these. Uh, it's got a solid ash body, an ebony fretboard um, with my custom inlays, a tribal S, and the nine pointed star, number two there, uh, which is the my number in the band. Um, it's got the uh, triple coil active uh, ATK pickup. It's uh, Ivan has his model there. Um, yeah, and I play uh, Ernie Ball strings. Uh, they're tuned, I think, 115 through 55. So it's uh, 115, uh, 95, 75, 55. And they're tuned uh, in C sharp and with a drop tuning. So it's uh, actually in B. So it's like B, F sharp, B, and E. And I play PV amps live. I usually run a, uh, an 810s. Uh, I get three of those live. Um, two 2600 power amps, the PV Pro 500 head, um, I use two of those. Um, I usually run an ISO cab cabinet, uh, which has got like a 112 in there, I believe. Um, I run Sans amp uh, and Audio Technica wirelesses. For what we're doing here today, I have a, a different setup. I have a PV 810 Pro Series cabinet um, and the Tor 700 Series head. Uh, which I think I'm gonna to trade to my new stuff for, for the new 2000 heads they're doing, uh, which is pretty cool. I guess they're, they're building those now. So, there you go.